to be aiming the camera down. I told you guys we were going to do a DIY. So what I'm going to do is these bandanas that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I am going to make a pillow. And we're going to use the hot glue gun. You don't have to use the hot glue gun, guys. You can, um, obviously, you can uh, definitely... sew it if you choose to but I know some people don't know how to sew so I'm just going to do it this way now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this being inside out and I'm going to let me aim you guys down I don't want to confuse people so here we go let me fix the camera some guys so right there should be good so what would you what you want to do is and I'm going to move this um, what you want to do is you want to put your first one where the inside part, like this, you want to actually put the inside part towards you. Because what we're going to do is we're going to glue, we're going to glue it, and then we're going to turn it inside right, then stuff it, and then just glue the small area um, that's left so you want to put it like that and a good way to know if it's inside out it has a tag um, I don't know if all of them do I didn't really see one on the other one um, but I can tell the difference this is the inside and this is the outside so what I'm gonna do is I have the inside facing me and then I have the outside on top of that. Now, the first thing I would do is check. Make sure they're around the same size. That's the only problem I've ever had with Dollar Tree is sometimes when you buy something, they may not be the same size, whether it be a placemat or a bandana or what have you. You want to make sure. Now, this one... Um, the fireworks one is a little bit bigger, but it's really not going to make a difference in this sense because it's not that far off. So, here we go. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this back some. And like I said, I want to keep it um, as close to being the same um, as I can. So, this is pretty, let's see here, let's try making them neat, and it's hard because I don't have a great big space here, so I'm just going to peel it back a little bit, as you guys can see, and then I'm going to take my glue gun, and this isn't melting yet there's still a lot in there I guess so I'm just gonna go along the edge where that red where you guys see that red there and we're gonna run it all the way along sorry guys I'm shaking I forgot to take my medicine too before I came in here um, I'm doing this video pretty early guys I think it's like eight in the morning okay so there is that and then all I'm gonna do is I want to push this back on that and you don't want to burn yourself because we all know me and burning ourselves so that is like that okay and I'm gonna run and take my medicine guys and then I'm going to just take this first off and I'm going to turn it so that this side is facing me. I'll finish doing this and then I'll run and take it. Um, that way it has a little bit of time to um, dry while I run out and take it after I get it um, glued. So the glue is right here. So I'm literally going to run it 
across this red edge. And you guys, you don't have to use the same as me. I just thought that these two would be kind of cute, you know, just to have out for um, around the 4th, something cute to set in a chair or a rocking chair or wherever your bed. All right, here we go. So we want to make sure that it's pretty much uh, lined up before we press on it here. And it doesn't matter if it's a little off because this is going to be, like I said, we're going to put it inside right. So then we're going to turn it again and see how it's a little off, guys. Um, that's because one is a little bit bigger than the other, but that's fine. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to peel this back. And then I'm going to run this right along here again. And again, you can sew it if you... Oh, is this going to give me troubles today? Um, as I said, you can sew it um, if you want to sew it. Um, I have showed you guys stuff glued before and then gone back and sewed it. But I'm literally showing this for people that may not know how to sew. Um, I'm not the greatest at sewing. I do know how to sew, but I'm not the greatest at it. Um, so stuff like this comes in handy. So we got this glued. Now we just have this one more side. Now what we want to do with this one last side you want to glue it like you did the other sides, obviously. But you want to leave a little bit of space because that's where you're going to put your pillow stuff in. So I usually make it big enough so that I can um, stuff the stuffing down in it. So uh, And then you go back and you glue. So in this event, that's all glued, and this side is glued. So I'm just going to fold this back some. And I think I'm going to go from here. Over. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly... Uh, straight line, obviously. Look at me. Okay, so there we go. And again, I'm going to try to get it so that it's up there pretty decently. And then I'm just going to push on it and make sure that it's flattened. Okay, and then we're going to have this little open space here. So I am going to run out. I'm going to take my medicine because I forgot. And then when I come back, this should be pretty much dried. We're going to flip it. Um, I'll show you guys. So this is how we want it for right now. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry, I had to take my medicine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, see, there's enough room for me to get my hand pretty much in there. So all I'm going to do is I want to take this and bring it so that it's inside right because we want to be able to see what it looks like. And we're going to stuff it. So, sorry guys. So here we go. So you're going to have this little space and that's what we're going to have to finish gluing. 
But in the meantime here, look at how, let's pull the rest of this out. Look at how cute this is going to be as a pillow. You've got your big thing of fireworks. You got your big thing of fireworks on the back half. And then you have your um, ice creams. So here we go. Now, I have seen people, I haven't seen anyone use uh, this pattern or do this, but I'm talking about as far as pillow stuffing itself. Um, I'm the first one I've seen use these bandanas. Um, but what I want to tell you guys is I've seen people um, use and do the pillows and just buy a old pillow. I mean, either use an old pillow for the filling and rip it open and fill. Or I've also seen people buy like a pillow at um, your Dollar Tree or uh, not Dollar Tree. Uh Dollar General, um, this came undone. That's unacceptable. So we're going to have to go back over this um, because I do not want this messed up. Um, but as I was saying, um, yeah, it didn't dry. Did not dry well enough. So I'm going to go and put my hand back in this. And we're going to turn it back inside out. Because I want the pillow to look nice. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. So some people buy a cheap pillow just for the stuffing. Um, at like Dollar General. Um, instead of buying a bag of the polyfill. But I, um, at Christmas time, did the placemat ones. So I already have a bag of the polyfill. So that's what I'm going to use. But you can use... Uh... Okay, i got to find where that hole is. You can definitely use... Okay, it's right here. You can definitely use um, polyfill or buy yourself, you know, a pillow or what have you not. For some reason, this did not stick. So we're going to go over this part because um, we want it to stick. We don't want holes. So let's re-go over this. And that's why I said, you guys... Um, you can sew it or glue it. It might have taken me too long to stick it together. I don't know what happened, but we're going to fix it. Okay, so we're going to go just like that. We're going to let it sit for a minute um, because it may not have been all the way dry. Because I literally just went out, took my medicine, and ran back in here. So let's wait a second. Make sure that's completely dry. Um, and then we're going to do what I showed you. We're going to put it um, inside out. We're going to pill, pill it. We're going to fill it with some polyfill. And then we're just going to glue um, the small area that we didn't glue, which is right here. So we're just gonna let that, let that um, dry before we go too crazy over here. And then you guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a, another video um, with a DIY uh, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use these bandanas. I want to, and I want to cut them in strips. So we're going to see how that turns out. But I'm going to take these two right here, and I'm going to cut them into strips. And we are going to be doing another DIY. Um, so I want to get a couple of DIYs done today. I don't know if I'm going to put this one up today um, or tomorrow. I'll probably put it up today because all I have put up today, excuse me, is the... Uh, All I've put up today is the BLT, so I'm probably going to get this up today, too. Okay, so I think we're dry. I just wanted to make sure that we gave it enough time to dry. Okay, so let's try this again. We're going to put our hand in here. And I always go to the corner furthest away. Um, I think it just makes it a little bit easier and just be really careful when you're pulling it out, um, depending on how long you let your glue, um, take. Cause as you guys know, I literally just glued it. Um, so I don't want to go too, too, uh, crazy trying to pull it out and everything come apart again. So, let's see, we got to get this corner out. Get this corner out, and it will come out too a little bit as we're um, filling it. Because I don't want to rip that open with my fingers. Okay, let's see if we can push this out a little bit more. I have a piece of hair or glue. There we go. Okay, that corner is out. Just trying to make sure that most of my corners are out. Okay, so there we go. So guys, this is what it looks like. Um, without the fill in it. Now we're going to go into the polyfill. Now I bought my polyfill at Walmart. I bought a big bag of it. Um, like I said, I had done some pillows with the placemats back when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, so that's how long I've had it, um, and I got it just because I knew I'd be doing more projects. If you're only going to make uh, one pillow, um, you might not want to invest, like I said, into the um, polyfill. You might want to just buy a old... Uh, A old use a old pillow or buy a two or three dollar one at um, dollar general but what I like about coming up with this idea with the bandanas you get these bandanas I'm actually gonna have to make the hole a tiny bit bigger um, you actually can get these band bandanas two in a package so you literally can make your pillow for a dollar if you already have a older pillow um to cut open to use the stuff in or if you have a square one um you could do probably glue all of it but one side and then glue it um I haven't done it that way, but I'm sure it can be done that way. Okay, so we don't want it too, too 
crazy here. And you're going to have to mess with the filling some, guys, because depending on how big your hole is and how fluffy um, you want your pillow. I don't want my pillow flat, so I am trying to put um, quite a bit of the polyfill. So let's get this corner done. And what I try to do is I try to fill in um, the corners first and then we'll worry about flattening and all of that um, at the end. So, so far, so good. And this actually makes a pretty decent sized uh, pillow. It's about the same size as the pillows, I believe, that I have on my couch. And what I like about it is it's going to be a square pillow. Okay, so let me see. I want to see, you know, if this is as thick as... I want it or if I want it thicker so I think it's pretty it's pretty good how it is um, and again um, all of my sides are glued and they've stayed pretty well other than I did have to make it a little bit bigger to put that in so I would say go like halfway or a little over half up the pillow um, and I do have a little spot right here that I got to glue, but that's fine. Um, I think I'm going to leave it this thick. I like it like that. I don't want it too puffy and then you not be able to, um, to see all of the decoration. So what I'm going to do now is right here, um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to glue it um, where it needs to be glued. So I'm going to start right there. And this is where I had to uh, rip it because my big hand wouldn't allow me to... Um... Ooh, ouch, you guys, don't put your hand in it. It's hot. And I just did it twice. How many more times are we going to do it? Okay, so here we go. Good grief, Angel. You guys, I'm telling you, I burn myself so many times using hot glue guns. It's not even funny. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to glue it like that. I want to make sure every little, every little area is completely glued so there's that and we want that to completely glue we don't want any holes again if you choose to sew it so be it but I know that there are people out there that don't know how to sew um, so that is why I always try to come up with something where you don't have to sew if you choose not to sew, um, in the event that you don't know how to. So there's that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold that down and hopefully not burn myself. I thought I bought something to help me push stuff down, but apparently, uh, I don't know what I did with it. And we don't want all that sitting there. I'm looking to see. We'll use this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just pressing that down where I just glued. Um, without burning myself and just making sure that it stays there. 
Now it's going to take a second, I'm sure, for it to all dry. So you don't want to go too um, crazy with it and throw it right on your couch. You want to make sure everything is dried up and how it needs to be. But you guys, this is so adorable. Um, I got to unplug my glue gun. And make sure we ain't got no glue here. And then I'm going to show you guys. I think you can pretty much see. Look at how cute this came out. Super cute. Super easy. You guys, this is only a dollar if you buy one bag of the bandanas. Um, let me put you guys up. Um, if you only buy one bag of the bandanas it is only a dollar if you guys have a old pillow around you can rip it open use the poly fill from that you guys this is super cute so this is the front this is the back um and you could do it you know any way you want you can set it like that on your couch or this on your couch however you are happy doing it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope um, that you guys get your craftiness out and maybe um, try to do something out of the box that you may not um, have normally done. Um, it's super easy, guys. Be careful if you're using glue. Make sure you um, put your protectors on. I can't use them. Um, but yeah, super cute. And only a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a safe day. Have a blessed day. Um, me or Em will catch you in the next video. Remember to stay kind, be blessed, stay safe. Make sure if you like the content, you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you hit that post notification bell so that you guys never miss a upload. And with that being said, we love you guys and I or Em will see you in the next video. Bye guys.